specific heat capacity. Part 1 Take some water in a vessel and start heating it on a burner. Soon you will notice that bubbles begin to move upward. As the temperature is raised, the motion of water particles increases till it becomes turbulent as water starts boiling. Students, do you know, what are the factors on which the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of a substance depend? In order to answer this question, in the first step, heat a given quantity of water to raise its temperature by, say, 20 degrees Celsius and note the time taken. Again, take the same amount of water and raise its temperature by 40 degrees Celsius using the same source of heat. Note the time taken by using a watch. You will find it takes about twice the time and therefore double the quantity of heat required, raising twice the temperature of the same amount of water. In the second step, now suppose you take double the amount of water and heat it using the same heating arrangement to raise the temperature by 20 degrees Celsius. You will find the time taken is again twice that required in the first step. In the third step, in place of water, now heat the same quantity of some oil, say mustard oil, and raise the temperature again by 20 degrees Celsius. Now, note the time by the same watch. You will find the time taken will be shorter and therefore the quantity of heat required would be less than that required by the same amount of water for the same raise in temperature. These observations show that the quantity of heat required to warm a given substance depends on its mass m, the change in temperature, delta T, and the nature of the substance. The change in temperature of a substance when a given quantity of heat is absorbed or rejected by it is characterized by a quantity called the heat capacity of that substance. We define heat capacity S of a substance as S is equal to delta Q upon delta T. where delta Q is the amount of heat supplied to the substance to change its temperature from T to T plus delta T. You have observed that if equal amount of heat is added to equal masses of different substances, the resulting temperature changes will not be the same. It implies that every substance has a unique value for the amount of heat absorbed or rejected to change the temperature of unit mass of it by one unit. This quantity is referred to as the specific heat capacity of the substance. If delta Q stands for the amount of heat absorbed or rejected by a substance of mass M when it undergoes a temperature change delta T, then the specific heat capacity of that substance is given by S is equal to S upon M is equal to 1 upon M into delta Q upon delta T. The specific heat capacity is the property of the substance which determines the change in the temperature of the substance undergoing no phase change when a given quantity of heat is absorbed or rejected by it. It is defined as the amount of heat per unit mass absorbed or rejected by the substance to change its temperature by one unit. It depends on the nature of the substance and its temperature. The SI unit of specific heat capacity is 
जूल प के जी प कैलवेन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर मोर वीडियोज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक यू